your skin a favor, go all natural, even homemade. It's amazing the things that you can make in your own kitchen. I want to show you how to make a homemade moisturizer. This is a soy oil moisture bar, and it really, really works. And all you have to do is start with a double boiler. You don't even have to buy a double boiler. What I like to do is just take a large saucepan like this, bring the water to a boil, and then just take a metal bowl and place it there. And then what you're going to do, you basically just have four ingredients in this. You're going to start with two parts soy wax, one part coconut oil to one part cocoa butter, and then you can use any sort of fragrance you like. Lavender's great. I'm gonna mix a little lavender with some rosemary. And this is the sort of thing that is so good for chapped hands, if you've been working in the garden. It's all natural and very easy to make. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the soy wax. This is hydrogenated soy oil, which makes it uh, wax-like. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this melt, and you can see it's already melting. Beautiful, look at that. So this is what 16 ounces of the wax looks like melted. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add eight ounces of this cocoa butter, and it will melt very quickly. And while that's melting, I'm gonna go ahead and add the coconut oil. And you can see a coconut oil is an oil, but it, it's almost in a solid state itself at room temperature. It doesn't really take long for all three of these ingredients to come together. You see, the thing you want to do is just constantly stir it like this. Okay, now with everything melted, it's time to add the essential oils. And I like lavender, so I'm going to add about six drops of lavender. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Oop. seven drops of lavender. And then also some rosemary. Those two combined are wonderful. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mmm, what a great combination of aromas. Okay, now it's time to pour the liquid into the molds, all right? You just wanna bring it over like this, and then just begin to dip it out, and you can fill these individual molds. What I like to do is just take a cooling rack and place them on the cooling rack with a little wax paper underneath. And if you can't find some of these molds or don't have them, you can use a little mini muffin pan like this make great little lotion bars. Now I'll get all these poured up. I'll let them rest overnight. By then they'll be hard. They can be used or you can give them as gifts. If you're enjoying these tips, make sure you tell friends about them and subscribe to eHow Home.